Hey friends, uh, my name's Nick Van Ruth. Welcome to today's Going Deeper. At Allgate, we've been exploring the resurrection, but today I wanna to talk about the evidence. What evidence do we have that Jesus physically rose from the dead? And there's actually quite a lot. There's historians such as Josephus and Tacitus who mention a resurrection event that changed uh, the disciples' lives. But then we also have what's in the Bible. Uh, there's the four gospel accounts, each recording Jesus physically rising from the dead. But the earliest piece of evidence we have, and the most specific, is written in 1 Corinthians 15, written probably uh, 50 to 55 AD, just 20 years after the resurrection event. And in it, Paul records uh, what he's, he's been preaching to the Corinthians, and he makes a strong point of this is something to believe. Paul says, For I delivered to you as of first important what I also received, that Christ died for our sins in accordance with the Scriptures, that He was buried, and that He was raised on the third day in accordance with the Scriptures, and that He appeared to Cephas, that is Peter, and to the twelve, the twelve disciples. Then He appeared to more than 500 brothers at one time, most of whom are still awake, so that's most of whom you could still go ring up, ask, and they could tell you firsthand that they witnessed Jesus physically risen from the dead. And he says, Jesus, uh, Jesus appeared to James, then to the apostles. Last of all, as to one untimely born, he appeared to me also. Jesus physically appeared to Paul. So this is a firsthand account of Jesus rising from the dead. There's lots of resources out there to dive deeper into the evidence we have for the physical resurrection of Jesus. Because that's central to our belief that Jesus is God, that He loves us, that He saved us, and that we are His people. We pray that you are blessed as you explore these things more, and we look forward to going deeper with you in the future.